to summarize what we've done so far, I want to go back to this data frame we simulated. I want to go back to that and use it to explain this very important figure from your notes, which identifies the three components of any generalized linear model. There's a link function, there's a linear predictor, and there's a distribution, which in the case of this particular example is going to be a Bernoulli. Now I should also change up here this y to a yi. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our different values of h, and then we're going to use those values to come up with and predict a value of this logic. And that's what's shown down here. We've got this linear function. We put in our age here, and we decided this was going to be minus 4.3 is, is our intercept. Our slope we decided was going to be 0 0.14. And we would use that to come up with a value of the logit. Now, there's a few things to note here. First is, this logit is the link function. And as I said before, that's a bit counterintuitive because what we're really interested in is P. And so if we're interested in P, why wouldn't we, for example, just predict P as a linear function of our predictors? Well, we're not going to do that for reasons that will become apparent later. We're going to predict the logit. And then the predicting function is this linear function right here. And something that's also very important to recognize is that the value of this logit, this is completely determined. In the sense that there's no variability. There's no stochasticity. Two individuals with the same value of x, age, are going to have exactly the same probability p of liking classical music. So, We've got this value of the logit, but what we're really interested in, obviously, is P, the probability that an individual is going to like classical music. To get from this logit here to a value of P, we're going to be required to get to do this back transformation. Of course, this back transformed data value is also going to be completely determined without any variation or stochasticity. So now the question becomes, how do we induce, how do we add some variation? Well, in your previous courses, what you typically see happens is you start off with some value, some value y perhaps, and then you add to it some variation that's taken from a normal distribution with some mean zero, some standard deviation sigma. From that, you get some residual error, and you add that on. You add that on to... The linear predictor and that's what gives you the observed value that has some random variability. That's not what we're going to do here. What we're going to do here is once we've got our value of p, we're going to assume that that is the parameter of a Bernoulli distribution. So here's our Bernoulli distribution. It's 0 and it's 1 and this is p this is 1 minus p, and then we're going to draw a single value. So once we've got the value of p for the ith individual, we're going to withdraw a single value yi for that individual, which is going to be either a 0 or 1, depending on our random draw from our Bernoulli distribution. Bottom line, three components of a general linearized model. Link function, linear predictor, and a distribution, and how we add variability it isn't going to be the way you've seen typically so far. It's going to be by withdrawing a particular value at random from some sort of a distribution that has a parameter, in this case p, that's been predicted by our model.